ain't mad until I get her fed. Get to feed the cats. Still got a little feed over in that dish. This cat here, Pumpkin, I believe is her name. She's not real friendly to uh, Pete the cat, our little smaller male. So, uh, got to feed them in two different spots. All right, take a little more hay. Throw out those outside horses so they can. Uh, spread out and I'll eat and we're gonna get some cows fed but yeah good morning kind of an overcast gray kind of typical late fall um, maybe even winter day here in West Tennessee it's a I don't know what the temperature is getting up to today but it's pretty cool in the 30s right now not too unpleasant but a little breeze blowing oh I don't even know what all we're gonna get into today we got to get all our routine stuff done of course I do have a couple of bigger projects. All those ladies come out. Need to look and see how old they are. We, uh, in typical fashion, how it usually goes with our chickens, we had a little massacre. I'm pretty sure a raccoon back during the summer. So then we got another batch of baby chicks, but it should be getting pretty close to starting to lay for us. Um, hope so. I enjoy eating eggs for breakfast. All right, get these cows fed and, uh, yeah, we gotta go feed our steers too. Okay, got all those cows fed. Yeah, my strategy was go ahead and feed them first where they can get none eating because then I'm gonna unroll them a roll of hay. And uh, that way they'll kind of, won't all be standing there by the gate. Um, hopefully where they'll run out because they had a tendency to do that here lately. But yeah, I'm four short on who came up to eat, which one of them, you're not gonna be able to see it from here. It was number 109. She did finally calve the night before last. Um, had not put my hands on that calf yet, so it may be a little bit of a challenge. But uh, we'll try to get it tagged here in a minute. We left town early yesterday morning, but I knew she had calved. She didn't come up. Um, my dad saw her. He came down here a little later on, but. I met the wife and kids. My mom rode up to Nashville with me. We went and watched the Vols punch their ticket to the playoff. Um, game that did not start. Well, let's be honest, it started as bad as it possibly could have for about the first three or four minutes. But then um, they turned it on, got the job done. But all right, we'll feed these boys. Um, they're doing really good. Somebody commented about, you know, how would they calm down? Actually, several people did. And I made the comment that I don't know that they'll come in here and eat this hay for a month. Just because they got, or uh, feed for a month because they still got the hay. But, you can see. I mean, look, they're going to be spooky and walk off. But they'll come back up here and eat pretty quick. So, our ration, we're now uh, like three to one corn to the mixed feed um, or the starter feed. So uh, they're just about to the point where they're on the, the complete finishing ration. All right, y'all are hungry? I'm a little late this morning, but I was actually a little late getting them fed last night. So we're right at 12 hours since they last got fed.
Yep, there's what it's looking like right now. Still a little bit of that starter feed down there in the bottom. Um, you know, we got five that aren't in here right now. They're all kind of acting goofy and running off, but they'll all come in here and eat. Um, yeah, I need to figure out where those other cows are. That's weird. I get another count. Uh, you see, we're not completely out of hay really anywhere. They haven't finished off any of the hay rings. Must have all been equally as good. Normally they'll pick out one roll they like the best and then eat it up before they touch the others. But Okay. On to the next task. What's actually while I'm down here. My OCD or my perfectionist, I don't know what you want to call it. They're just really in the interest of doing things right. This area water trough is not very level at all. I'm going to cut it off. Hopefully they'll drink most of that down today. Or I can level it up. Thought about cutting it off last night. Probably should have, because I don't know that they'll drink all that down before the end of the day today, and then I'm not gonna be wanting to mess with it tomorrow. Some more buckets there, because we're gonna need to tote some more corn tonight. All right. Yeah, I'm not catching that thing unless I get it cornered somewhere. So, we may just be waiting and that'd be one we have to tag <clears throat> later on when we get them up to a vaccinate, which will be fine because it'll be the only untagged calf out here. It's pretty unique looking. Um, would like to know, I think it's a little heifer. Um, just for my records, go ahead and get all that input. But yeah, I don't know that we're gonna get a tag today. All right, Sadie, you getting out? Okay, let's check on this gang. Sell a few more down the hill. We'll put out a little feed for them. Get a head count and hopefully come up with 46. Um, if not, we'll ride around for a minute till we do. Or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Um, yeah, oh yeah, stragglers coming on up over the hill there. All right, y'all a little hungry? Yeah, full confession, I did not get down here yesterday because we left. About quarter to six yesterday morning, didn't get home till about seven o'clock last night, so we didn't have any daylight. Um, but they were in good shape the day before. They got plenty of grass still. Oh yeah, those boys said, let's eat. All right, I'll quit talking and start feeding. Patience, my friends, patience. Patience, patience. The feed is coming. Whoa, easy there, boys and girls. Hey, y'all let me in there. Y'all let me in there and I'll get the feed for you. That's 44. I think I saw two that are over across the ditch that hadn't found their way across yet. We'll confirm that. It'll be mission accomplished. Yep, there's our other two. They're just chilling. That ditch is pretty deep right here. Of course, the culvert's just right down there. And then back up this way, a couple hundred feet is a good spot for them to cross. But yeah, I hate that they don't come up. Not that the feed is enough to make a huge difference in their growth. Little, but not a huge difference. But just because uh, I want them all to come running when I pull up, just makes them easy to, easy to check on, easy to handle. But, they're all alive and well this morning, so we can't ask for too much more than that. If we, if we can accomplish that every day, then we're in good shape. You know? All right, Sadie, I guess we'll head back towards the house and find something else to do. Okay, and now back to one of our favorite pastimes, patching fences where trees have fallen. Um, yeah, not, not as much fun as simply patching fence because now we gotta do a little bit of lumberjacking before we can um, 
start patching, which thankfully, I mean, it's, it's a pretty small stretch. This, this tree fell a while back, but it's, at first it wasn't really down on the fence, now it is. Um, I kind of halfway fixed some of this. The, of all animals, actually, the, the donkeys were coming up here and getting out, like, of course. An animal that doesn't even generate us any revenue. And I mean, some people, you know, use them for uh, predator deterrence. Um, coyotes, of course, just in our area. I don't know, maybe they help with that, maybe they don't. But um, they're mainly just a pain in our butt. But brought my helper there. You gonna help me fix this fence? Maybe. All right, we'll see. Should, shouldn't take too long. Thanks, last week. typical fashion um, whenever we do patching like that it don't look that pretty but I believe it'll hold hold the donkeys in should hold the cows in too cows are a little more cooperative um and my helper they say we're not far from the house um, I think he went ahead and headed back that way but we got a couple more things to do um, try to think what else did I have to do I don't know. I'll, I'll remember here in a minute. And I wasn't able to get it on camera earlier, but we did get that calf tag, nice little heifer calf. Oh, I've decided, or I shouldn't say I decided, we decided as a family, I think this afternoon, we're gonna go get our Christmas tree. Um, both Kaylin and then Willis have birthdays this week. So traditionally, we always figure our Christmas season doesn't officially begin until, uh, after their birthdays um, and we usually wait until then to go get a tree but next weekend it's gonna be crazy um, Willis and I are running the St. Jude uh, 5k in Memphis as part of the St. Jude Marathon weekend on Saturday then Willis has a basketball game later that morning on Saturday but we should have plenty of time to, to do both then Willis is going to Nashville to the Titans game kind of as his birthday present from my mother-in-law um, I don't know, Kaylin and I would like to go out on a date night, maybe on Saturday night, celebrate her birthday. Um, but we don't even know. Um, they've been out of town for the last week. Um, and we were gone all day yesterday to Nashville. So, yeah, my point is, like, next weekend ain't going to be great. Plus, Willis won't be here. So, if we want to go get a tree as a family, we need to do that this afternoon. And Willis and I would like to get done in time to uh, deer hunt this afternoon. Um, Maybe Kimber too, might take both of them. Um, wouldn't that be something if they both got their first deer on the same day? But anyway, uh, hey, obviously I'm wearing my Ag Gear Dillinger jacket. Hope y'all got to take advantage of that 40% off um, Black Friday sale. Um, that sale is over now, but as you all know, probably if you've been watching channel a while, everything's always on sale for 15% off when you use the discount code hurricane at checkout, um, as always, you can follow the link um, that I've got in the description of these videos um, to apply that as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride back here. I gotta trim a tree that's blocking a shooting lane out of our uh, little, little old box stand, or at least get in there and check and see if it is um, before we try to hunt this afternoon. Uh, I don't know, got a few other things to do, but gonna, gonna be more family time this afternoon than doing farm chores. So I say all that to say, this may be a little shorter video than some of our um, typical ones, but we got other stuff to get done today, um, getting ready for Christmas season. Hey, but I will include some bonus deer hunting footage um, at the end of this, if we have anything to show. Um, see, hopefully this video is several more minutes long, um, but y'all just stay tuned, um, see if we got anything there. But yeah, I guess it's gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go eat some chili for lunch. So we're gonna be eating our beef. Um, I want y'all to do the same. Y'all eat beef and God bless.